Hi everyone, in this ClickFunnels 2.0 tutorial I will show you how to add a Facebook or Metapixel and Conversions API to ClickFunnels 2.0 so that you can benefit from more accurate tracking and get better results from your ads. As you may know, Facebook Pixel alone will only report browser activity, therefore loading errors, connectivity issues, ad blockers and some browsers may prevent the pixel from sharing data effectively. If you set up the conversions API in addition to your pixel, you will send activity and customer actions from both the server and the browser. This helps improve targeting and optimization for deep funnel events, and as a result you should see more accurate conversion data and lower your cost per result. Now two things before we get started. First, like this video, subscribe to our channel and enable notifications to not miss out on the future content. And second, if you don't have your ClickFunnels 2.0 account yet, in the description you will find a link to a free trial and you will also receive our ClickFunnels 2.0 course as a bonus if you use our link. And if you're already using ClickFunnels 2.0, in the description of this video you will also find a link to a special deal that will help you save massively on your ClickFunnels 2.0 subscription. Now let's set everything up. First, you need to go and log in to your Meta Business account. You will find the link in the description of this video. We will need to do a few things in that account and then add the necessary information in ClickFunnels 2.0. Please keep in mind that you need to have full control of the Meta Business account and permissions to create Facebook datasets. Once you log into your account, you need to go to the Events Manager. If you don't see this section on the left here, click All Tools and then find the Events Manager here. Next, we are going to create a dataset in our account. If you already have a few existing datasets, like for example I do here, and want to use one of them, just click on the name of this dataset. But I assume that you don't have any and that we need to create everything from scratch. To do that, click Connect Data Sources, select Web, give this dataset a name and click Create. Next, we need to add the website URL. If you don't have one, don't worry, you can just tick this checkbox and proceed further. I will just go to ClickFunnels 2.0 and copy the link to my site. Then we check the site and proceed to the next step. Select Do It Yourself. And on this step we select Metapixel and Conversions API because we want to install both of these things. If you only want to install the Metapixel, you need to select this option and you also can watch the tutorial how to do it by clicking on the card here. Select Setup manually and click Next. As you can see here, the setup consists of two steps. First, we need to select the events that we want to track with the Conversions API, and then we need to implement the Conversions API. Click Continue to go to the next step. Open this dropdown and select the events that you want to track. The minimum would be View Content Event, Purchase, Subscribe and the Trial Event. After that, click Continue to go to the next step. Now we need to select the event details for each of our events that you see on the left here. If you hover over the best practices here, you will see the recommendations on which parameters you should select. Let's go with the recommendations. For that, we would need to select Event ID, Email and Phone, and the IP address. Now you may see that the continue button is still inactive. That's because we need to go back and select the event details or event parameters for each of our events. And after that, the button will be activated. So we click on the next event, in my case it's start trial, and then I select other parameters here. 
By the way, I'm not an expert on Facebook ads. That's why you need to consult somebody who is knowledgeable in this area. I'm just following the best practices that I can see here. And I will quickly add details for other two events and then we can continue to the next step. Now you can review the setup and either go back and make some changes or confirm the step. Here you can read the instruction on the implementation of the conversions API and after that click finish. Now we're done with the initial setup and you will see the dataset that we created on the left here. Now go to the settings tab. And we can already start adding information in ClickFunnels 2.0. The first thing that we need to add is our Facebook Pixel ID or MetaPixel ID. This is that number here, Dataset ID. Click on this number to copy ID to the clipboard and then go to ClickFunnels 2.0. In our ClickFunnels 2.0 account, we go to the site overview and then open the settings of the site. Scroll to the tracking code section and paste the ID that we copied in the Facebook Pixel ID field. Now you may be wondering why we're adding this information to the site settings if you want to track the activity on your funnels in ClickFunnels 2.0 and that's because the tracking codes or tracking information that you add to the site settings in ClickFunnels 2.0 will also apply to all the funnels and pages in this workspace. So we already added our pixel ID and the next thing that we need, the next piece of information that we need from our business account is the Facebook access token. While the Facebook pixel is responsible for the browser tracking, the access token will be responsible for the server side tracking. We go back to the events manager, then scroll a bit until you see this conversions API section. Click generate access token. Copy this code snippet by clicking on the icon here and go back to ClickFunnels and add it to the Facebook access token field. And last but not least, we need the Facebook test event code. We go to the events manager again, go to the test events open this dropdown and copy the test code. Paste it in ClickFunnels 2.0 and don't forget to save the changes. Scroll to the bottom and click Update Site. Now that's actually all the information that you need to add to ClickFunnels 2.0 to enable the Facebook Pixel and also the Conversions API. We also need to copy the link to the site here and go back to the Events Manager. Then we need to open the site and perform some actions to see if the test events will be displayed properly. And that's what we are going to do. We will see if our tracking is working properly. First, if you want to see if there is any pixel added to the site, you may install an extension called Meta Pixel Helper. It's free and it will show you if there is some pixel added to this page. You can see the pixel ID here and also the event that is tracked with this pixel. Next, I will click around a bit and perform some actions and after that we will go to the events manager and see which events were tracked and if they were tracked through the browser or through the server. I already see some events here, but please keep in mind that it may take some time, up to 30 minutes, for the events to be displayed here. We see different events like page view, then different clicks that I performed. For example, that was the click on the button and that was the open pop-up action. We also see a lead event here with information that was submitted with the form. And in this column, you see how this event was received from the server, which means it was received via the conversions API or via the browser, which means that it was received via the regular Facebook pixel. That would indicate that our Facebook pixel and conversions API are working properly in ClickFunnels 2.0. That's it for today. Thank you for watching till the end. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to our channel and enable notifications. And I will see you in our future videos. Bye-bye.